Hello and welcome, in this video I'm going to be going over how to create a glider system in Unreal Engine. First of all I'm going to create our glider, so I'm just going to go to Blueprint class and select Actor and just call this glider. So this will be the glider model which we will hang off of. And if we just open it up and go Add Component, Find Static Mesh. And I'm just going to select my parachute model. This can be any glider you have which you think is cool. I just downloaded this one off Sketchfab and if we just, um, I'm just going to scale it down so it's the correct size as it looks quite big before. So we just scale this down and compile and this will be our glider which we'll use. So now we're just going to set up the system in our third person character. So if we just pop into him and open him up. If we go to the viewport, we're going to want to go to the add component and find the scene. And so this scene location, I'm just going to move it up. This is going to be where our glider roughly spawns. So my parachute is going to spawn here. So I'm just going to put it halfway through this body. So in the event graph, I'm now going to make a key. So when we click the F key, I'm going to make it so that we can spawn our glider and it will slow our fall. So when the F key is pressed, I'm going to find the spawn actor from class and then the class we're just going to select the glider that we just made so just select glider and the spawn transform so we're just going to get our scene and we're going to want to find the get world transform so this will just find where it is in the world and spawn it there so just plug it in there and now it's going to spawn right there so off this we're going to attach it so attach to our actor and we're going to get the player character and it's going to be the parent actor which we attach the glider to. So just plug that in and then location one you want to keep to world. So that this just make it so it spawns on him. So we'll just click keep to world two there. And then if we just click compile and press F and we go to our game and press F, it spawns. But we can't move. This is because um, I forgot to do something. So if we go back into our glider and in the collision presets, so go viewport, you're going to want to um, select it and make it so it has no collision so that we can just mm, glide from it and it doesn't interfere with our character. So now if we click F and now we have our um, glider, but it doesn't do anything so let's add some functionality towards it. So first of all I'm just going to drag Condition so do once so this will just make it that we can only spawn the glider once as before we would be able to spawn it as many times as we want to and I'm going to drag a branch so we're going to make it so that we can only spawn this glider if the character is falling through there so you just get that it's falling and drag it so now we'll only be able to activate it if our character is falling this will just stop us from doing it if we're on the ground or something so now I'm going to go for event on landed and I'm just going to plug this into a reset. So this will be like when we hit the ground, we'll be able to then do our parachute again. And I'll also make the T key. So if we click the T key, it's also going to make it so that we can uh, shoot our parachute again. Um, so yeah, we just click compile and play. And if we click F, and if we click the T key. Oh, whoops. So sorry, I need to make it to that. Um, when we hit the vent landed or the TP, it's going to destroy our passion and so it will stop gliding us. So, off this, just click get the destroy actor and plug the T and event landed into it. So, we just plug that into the reset. So, now we click compile and play, press our F key, we can do it, and press our T key, and our passion, our glider disappears, glider slash tarot parachute so now let's add our glider some gliding ability so we're going to get the character movement and we're going to want to get his velocity so we go for velocity if you know sorry it's the set velocity we're going to want to set it so i'm just going to move this so set his velocity to get it set velocity and then off this, we're going to grab a lerp and the output this is going to be how long it takes. So I'm just going to make it 0.1 seconds. So this is going to, we're then going to get our character's player's velocity. 
So uh, if it is get velocity. So we're going to get our velocity and make it so that we go to a velocity of zero in 0.1 seconds. That's all that does. And off our character movement, we're going to set his um, air control. So we're going to want him to have a bit more air control when he's in the glider. So I'm going to set it to 0.3. And then we're also going to set the gravity scale. So set gravity scale and make it 0.01. So the higher it make it, the faster you'll fall. And we just click compile. We're just going to copy this and control V. So when we get rid of our parachute, we want to make our air control normal and our gravity scale normal again. So the default value is 0.2, so keep it that. And the default gravity scale value is 1. And then we want to get the character movement as the target. And just plug that in. And then off of here, we're going to put it into the reset. So now if we click compile, we click play. So if we press our F key, we now slow and we can now glide about. And now if we click T, then it disappears, and F, we can glide. And if we hit the ground, it automatically disappears. And that is how to create a glider system. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked, like and subscribe, and uh, see you next week. Bye.